Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Happy three-day weekend. Today is, what is today? Today is Saturday. <laughs> um, September the 2nd. Can you believe September? Oh my gosh. And I missed yesterday. I wanted to put out a video yesterday and, uh, well, just to be honest, June is driving me nuts. <laughs> she's teething and she's, um, she's like 20 months old, so she's getting close to two. So, uh, yeah, she's kind of a bud. <laughs> but anyways, I want to hop on here today and share with you some things that I've been making and uh this isn't like actual episode because yeah i don't know i was gonna try to go back to doing like the official episodes but then it's a little hard to do that you know with the family so um i guess this could be an episode i don't know if it is it's like episode four <laughs> if it isn't um it's not <laughs> but anyways it's a three-day weekend here in the u.s at least because monday is labor day which is a day for people who work <laughs> Basically, for most jobs, they get off and school gets out. Um, so, it's just a three-day weekend. It's also, like, the in, in IRS, like, the official end of summer, even though it's still going to be hot for a while. But it's, like, when people do, like, their last um, hurrah of summer. And that's also when, like, public pools and things like that start closing uh, for the season. But anyways, we're not doing anything this weekend. Anything fun. <laughs> we're just going to be home. Jessie is going to the fair tomorrow night with my sister and her family. But we're not going because of the baby, and uh, I don't want to go because I don't want to waste money there. <laughs> but, uh, so I do got some stuff to share with you guys, and I think it's kind of funny. They're all the same colors. Apparently, this week's theme was green and purple. <laughs> so, um, first, hold on, I got a yarn tail. I'm trying to figure out where it goes. There it goes. Um, first, it's two amigurumis that I finished. One of them you've already seen because it was for the national holiday on Wednesday the National Freaking Sunday, but I'm going to go ahead and show it for people who maybe didn't catch that video or uh, just because he's adorable and he's cute to see more than once. So here he is. And I just love him. His face is just so cute. He's got a hair on him, <laughs> but I just love him so much. This is a paid for pattern and it is, he's called Frankie the Little Frankenstein by, I think it's a booby. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Designs. And like I said, it's paid for. It's like $4 and 20 cents, I think. And before him, I used a G hook, which is a uh, number four four millimeter um and all his yarn is worsted weight it's mostly red heart red heart black and a little tiny bit of white this is called lavender i think and his pants is um dark heather gray and the green is karen one pound uh i think it's called grass green and then there's a gray that is i think a red heart <laughs> But he's just so cute. He's got 12 millimeter safety eyes, which is, seems to be my favorite size. I use it a lot uh, for most of my amigurumis. And yeah, he's just adorable. So I'll leave his pattern linked below. I just love his little sweater. He just looks so cozy. And he needs to get him a cup of hot chocolate. Or I guess like a pumpkin spice thing. But I don't I don't like stuff like that. I drink hot chocolate. And he can sit there and watch Gilmore Girls and uh, get all the fall vibes. <laughs> but he's just so sweet. I just love him. And then, okay, notice he is green and purple. And then I made my second um, witch for my trick-or-treaters. I'm a little late doing that because <laughs> it's supposed to be August and it's not August anymore. I made this one and I still got to make one more. And then I'll make September's. <laughs> um, it's just because these, these amigurumis are a little bit more detailed, you know. They got more pieces. So it did take me longer to make them. So I do still got to make one more of these. But So I pulled out just some yarns and it ended up being, it's not all his same yarn. The green is his same yarn, but the purples are different. <laughs> but I made her purple and green witch. And she has stitched on eyes because I finished her body. Made her dress, made her sleeves, made her arms, made her legs. And was making her hat. And then I was getting to where I was about to start doing the hair. And I realized I forgot to put safety eyes on. And I was like, oh no. I didn't want to pick her, um, her body out because it, it closes up at the top of the head, I think. No, it starts up here and goes down. It closes up the black. And I was like, I don't want to have to pick that out and unstuff her and all that. So I just stitched on some eyes. I tried to give her eyelashes. They're not that great. <laughs> and her little nose and her little mouth. But I think it's all right. It turned out all right. <laughs> and uh, so she is, her skin color is, um, oh, shoot. I forgot what it is. <laughs> I think it's called light something. It's light something. And her hair is amethyst. Her dress and hat is the same as Frankenstein think yeah it is uh the Karen one pound and then she just have a little bit of black down there on her her uh leggings stockings but I think she's still cute so that's two purple and green things and then I was getting kind of burnt out on making amigurumis and things because sometimes you need like a 
palette cleanser and I was really wanting to make a shawl because I gave a lot of my shawls that I made to my mom. She was supposed to give them back to me and she has not done that yet. I guess she's just claimed ownership of them. I do still have a couple that I've made in the closet. I haven't pulled them out yet. But I wanted to make a new one because it's getting, you know, starting to get chilly kind of at night. And if we go to my mom's house to do like hot dogs and uh, s'mores on the fire pit, it might be a little, you know, chilly and I might want to have something. And then I also had um, some yarn that was gifted to me that was special. It was from Esmeralda. And she has a YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. Um, but she gifted me two cakes of yarn that she had dyed for me. She had someone die. Not that she had dyed them. <laughs> but uh, this is all it's left to the first cake. It's very floppy. But see how it's purple and green? She got these clothes from my um, my logo. And uh, it, the colorway is called June. So she, she had it made for June. And she also sent some stitch markers and things um, along with it. So I've been holding that yarn back. I wanted to use it for something... Um, Special, you know, kind of special. And this is a worst away, and it is acrylic. And uh, I don't have the little card from the people who dyed it, but I will link them down below if I can find them. Like if they're sites or whatever. And I'm trying to remember what it's called, but I can't remember. <laughs> I think it's like Yarn for Everyone or something like that. But um, Yarn for the Masses, maybe? I think that's what it was. But so I started the shawl, as I'm trying to say, with it. And I got this pattern. This is a free pattern by Bag of Day. It's on her YouTube channel. And it's called Twilight After Sunset Shawl by Bag of Day. It is a four roll repeat and I've been loving it so far. So I've almost got that first ball in there cake. The cake was 370 yards and there's two of them. Uh, so that's like what, 740 yards? I'm going to try to put as much of it in there as I can just so I can use it all up. But here is my shawl. Well, I guess I should show you without this string hanging on. Isn't it pretty? I got a stitch marker down there marking the point. <laughs> but it's so pretty. I just love it and it's real soft and squishy and I can't wait to use it and it's June yarn so that's even more special you know but yeah so apparently this week my mind was purple and green because <laughs> all three things I was working on this week are purple and green <laughs> I think that's so funny but um I love this shawl it's such a good pattern all her videos are she she teaches well but this is a mixture it's got um Double crochets, chain spaces, and triple crochets in it. And uh, I just like it a lot. I like the, the design. <laughs> I like the holes and everything. It's just really pretty. So it's already getting pretty good. Like if it was one of those neck ones, it would uh, be a good size for that. But I want to make it like a full-on wrap yourself up in blanket top shawl. <laughs> really big. So I'm going to use both cakes of yarn for it. And uh, I like these kind of patterns where you can end it really on any row. So I'm going to use as much yarn as I can. Uh... And let it end where it ends but for this one i'm using a j hook i think um her pattern in the video she mentions that it's smaller yarn uh like one or two weight that she's using the original pattern but in the video she's using a four weight so it's easier to see and so um you know you just use the hook size that is good for that yarn and i went with j um and she's so cute. And my J-hook has a cookie on the end of it. <laughs> and every time I use it, Sissy, June, she'll just she'll just sit there and look at it. She'll say, cookie, cookie, over and over. I'm like, mess with it. Um, and it's just cute. But anyways, I can't remember I got this hook. I've had it for years since Jessie was a baby. It used to be an Etsy shop. But I don't think it exists anymore. But she's so pretty. I just love it. <laughs> and so that's what I'm working on this week. I'm working on a bunch of um, purple and green things. <laughs> so I just wanted to hop on here and show that with you since I didn't get to do a whip Wednesday. I had planned to, but, um, cause the video that came out on Wednesday was the Frankenstein video and I already had it recorded and edited and all that and ready to go. And then Wednesday just was busy and I also have been slacking on my Halloween videos, but that's okay. I'm gonna try to do them when I can. Uh, so I'll leave these patterns linked below if you want to check them out. And, uh, I will try to remember to leave this yarn, air, um, uh, site linked below. I'm not sure if they have a website. I have to look at the card. <laughs> they had a card on it. Uh. And uh, you can check it out if you want to. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and uh, try to go sew. I got to sew. I dropped off all the packages from the previous Etsy shop uh, update. <laughs> dropped off all of those this morning. So if you ordered a bag from that update, the tote bags and a few drawstring bags, there it's on the way to you. <laughs> and uh, I'm working on some Halloween bags. Probably today and tomorrow and I'll be done. So I might update the shop Monday, maybe. When is Monday? The 4th? Maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday, the 5th. I don't know. Sometime next week, I'm going to try to update the shop. Also, speaking of shops, my sister added a bunch of really cute um, stickers into her Etsy shop. Fall-themed ones and Halloween-themed ones. And each order 
from the fall or the Halloween themed ones. If you order any stickers from that bunch, you will get a free bat sticker. And it's a really cute little bat. Um, but yeah, so go check that out. Also, if you buy any of her stickers from yesterday, I always forget to do it today, the day of, from the 1st to the 7th, you will get entered into a custom-ish bag drawing from me. So after the 7th, she sends me all the names and how many stickers they bought. And then I do a random number generator. And then whoever wins gets to pick out either a drawstring bag or a tote bag. And then you can kind of pick the print. Um, like you can tell me the colors you like, the kind of prints you like, if you like a cartoon character or whatever. Um, and I'll try to find a fabric that matches that and make you a bag and send it off to you. But you have to purchase her stickers to be entered into that. And it counts per purchase. So if you buy 20 stickers, <laughs> you get 20 entries into that um, giveaway. But anyways, I'll leave all her shop stuff linked down below and everything else I talked about linked down below. And I'm going to hop off here because Devin and the kids were outside, but it sounds like some of them came back in. So I'm going to go in there and see what they're doing and uh, have a Saturday. So have a good long weekend and stay safe if you're out doing weekend things. And I'll see you guys in the video. Bye, guys.